Now to the plate, Whit Merrifield. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The 3 2 pitch. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. A chance now for a look at the Royals' starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? You know, they better not sleep on that guy sitting in the seven hole. He's got an on base percentage of over 400 coming in. The elite hitters in the game put up numbers like that, so he has to be feeling really good about what he's done so far this season. I'm sure his club is pleased just as well. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And striding toward the plate next will be Adalberto Mondesi. Slow grounder to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. That is third. The third baseman. Hunter. Dozier. Now batting, Hunter Dozier. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Two out, nobody on. All even now, two and two. Pitch on the way. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Woody Keller, this is my nightmare. He likes to call the pitch above the zone, above the belt. I know guys say those are the pitches that go deep, but I'm telling you, if you're calling that high strike, it opens up a lot of room for the pitcher. I agree with you, Dero. That's a tough pitch to get on top of and to put it in play. So if you're a pitcher right now, try to elevate in that top part of that strike zone. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. So now to the plate, Jorge Soler. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Eighth home run on the season for him as the Royals move out in front now two to nothing. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that. They take the lead. In now, Alex Gordon. Strike taken up in the zone. Still two and two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. The Royals come up with a pair, however, on this two run home run. Bottom of the first coming up. It's 2 0 Kansas City. Now at the plate, Tim Anderson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Two two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Batting pepper. No up field. next for Chicago, oh, Eloy oh. Jimenez, as he'll get his he first opportunity in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Starling is camped under this one. And he's got it for out number two. Batting third. The first base. Time now to check the starting lineup card for the Shy Sox in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, the guy to watch has to be Jose Abreu. He's having an insane year. I mean, insane. Slugging over 650. 
those are some serious power numbers you just don't see very often. He's an elite power hitter in the game today. Ready now for the White Sox. Jose Abreu. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They're down two to nothing. Second inning set to go, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. At the plate now, Cam Gallagher. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Into the box, Bubba Starling. A ball and two strikes. Gallagher, a runner at second with one away. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. To the plate now, Michael Franco. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, the pitch. Line towards center field. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. One left for Kansas City, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Leading off the inning, Edwin Encarnacion, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And there's one away. Hey, guys, take a look at how Kansas City sets up on D. And let's take a look at Alex Gordon. Originally drafted as a third baseman out of the University of Nebraska, he's had to move to the outfield, not only move there, but now he's a multiple gold glove winner with unbelievable range and a strong, accurate arm. Into the box now, Johan Moncada. Hit hard towards center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in that off the good. plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Grandal. Stepping in, Yosmani Grandal. Runner at first here, one man out. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count, you send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he is in there. 
Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Trying to bust him in, D. Rowe, he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Digging in, Luis Robert. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. He's set. Here's the three and two. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just the one run will be allowed to score. Man, this guy is a blur on the base pass, Danny. He was really motoring around the bases. I think he had every intention of stretching that one into a triple. He definitely has the wheels, but the ball bouncing over for an automatic double put an end to any of those kind of thoughts. So now to the plate, Nomar Mazzara. High in the air out to center field. Starling going back on it. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And this will get into the books as a sack fly and an RBI, and we are tied at two. Always productive to score runs when you can, and that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. Now at the plate, Danny Mendick, runner in scoring position with Sugan. The set and the 1 1. Line drive to center field. Starling is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. And we are tied 2 2. Coming to the plate now, Whit Merrifield, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. A 3 1. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. He's got it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now batting. The shortstop, Adalberto Mondesi. Standing in, Adalberto Mondesi. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down the zone right there below the knee. Offensive player was all over it. Standing in now, Hunter Dozier in there. Now the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. One out and a runner on second base. Steel. Runners on his way to third. Got him swinging the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. So a good job there of taking third unannounced. But meanwhile, the strikeout means two men are gone now. At the plate, Jorge Soler. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, and that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, All listen, three. a home run is a home run. Three and one to him now. And it's up to a three two full count full now. Count. Grounded back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retiring. Royals leave one. Home half of the third coming up, all even at two and two. Welcome back. The White Sox are set to hit here in the third inning, and hit is something that they've done very well this season. They come into the day tops in the majors in team batting average. And talking with some of the players and coaches prior to the game, many of them told me that's something they take a lot of pride in. 
batting average isn't as highly valued as it once was. But they said it's a clear indication that they're doing a lot of good things in the batter's box to help the team collect W's. Guys? All right. Thanks, Heidi. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. The 1 2. Ball. 22. 2 2. Reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. Starling is under it for the first out. Now batter. No one feels it. Oh boy. Jimenez. Stepping in, Elo Jimenez. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it up. Oh, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Gone! It's a solo home run for Eloy Jimenez. Number 11 for him on the season, and it's given the White Sox a 3-2 lead. That's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. In now, Jose Abreu. And it's one and two. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. Duffy sets. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. The one two inside looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone gave up that home run earlier in the inning needs to get back to being aggressive he's set here's the two two and right into the shift but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. The 2-2 two -two is swung on and missed strike three. But for the Sox, a run here in the inning on the solo home run. We played three full. It's now 3-2 Southsiders. Welcome back to the South Side as we check in with Heidi. Matt, I talked with the Kansas City manager during the inning break about the Royals' offensive production to this point. 
And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right, thanks, Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth, and standing in the outfielder, Alex Gordon. One one hit softly down the line at first but a foul ball one and two the count now and now pitch on the way fastball swung on and missed for the first down with how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. At the plate, Ryan O'Hearn. To two and two, two now. Two strikes. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. He showed right there why having a good change up is so valuable. Two and two and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up and it's even harder to make good contact with. At the plate now, Cam Gallagher. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. Hit on the ground to third. Moncada fields it cleanly. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the White Sox three and the Royals two. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I had a chance to talk with White Sox manager Rick Renteria between innings about his thoughts on his lineup's performance. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Coming to the plate now, Yoan Moncada. He reached on a single in his first try. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. A solo home run for Yoan Moncada. Sixth home run on the season for him, and it's given the White Sox a 4-2 lead. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. To the plate now, Yosemite Grandal yanked on the ground down the line. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Yeah. 
Into the box, Luis Robert. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. There to pull it in is Soler, and there are two away. The right fielder, number 30, Delmar Marzara. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the versatile Nomar Mazzara. The 1-1 home. Mazzara swings, and this is sent to deep right. And gone. An absolute bomb. Solo home run for Nomar Mazzara. His first home run of the season. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. So now to the plate, Danny Mendick hit on the ground out to short. Yeah, a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. On to the top of inning number five we go. White Sox on top, five to two. So striding forward now, Bubba Starling. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Bounce towards the second baseman. Reined in. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. So here's the Royals DH Michael Franco hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah he hit it hard that's all you can ask you can't control the results sometimes Matty just unlucky with the placement. Fouled away. Two runs four hits and no errors so far for the Royals. Seared down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. And he'll reach second now with one away. He just smoked this ball right down the line. Take a look here. Hard to tell if it was fair or foul in real time, but you can see it flies right over the bag. Ump was all over it and made a great call. Stepping in now, Whit Merrifield. Right side, fair ball down the line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. The runner scores from second. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. At the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, Hunter Dozier. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Both teams with six hits so far. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. A run for the Royals on the RBI double. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's the White Sox five and the Royals three.
ready to go for the last half of the inning and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop Tim Anderson. The one one swung on and lifted in the air to left center going after it is Gordon and he tracks it down nice play for the first down. Now batter, the left fielder, the Lord, Pete So one away here with the bases empty, and up next the exciting Eloy Jimenez. Yeah, man, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers they call that a wall scraper in his last AB, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Merrifield scoops it up. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now back, first baseman, Jose Abreu. So bases are empty here with two gone. And one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years, Jose Abreu, will bat next. The 2 1. Five runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. This is line to left. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Wow, he almost made a heck of a play in left. Yeah, Maddie, you can't hold the left fielder there. You'll see he makes a tremendous effort, but he just can't haul it in, and it gets past him for an extra base hit. Like the effort, though. Edwin Encarnacion now. back to swing but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike runner in scoring position at second with two down and he chased it in the dirt and the throw to first ends the inning danger averted following the two out double more in a moment on this Friday night you're watching MLB Network Evan Marshall takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the White Sox, number 43, Evan Marshall. Jorge Soler will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Here now the 2-2 is looked at and the count moves full. And in a two-run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. you got to keep that tying run in the on-deck circle as long as you can. 3-2 pitch. Popped up. Moncada has a play. One out. Now batting, left fielder, 
Alec Gordon. Here's the left fielder Alex Gordon. One out nobody on. Had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And another foul ball. And this is swung out and missed so it's two up two down to start the sixth inning. Now batting. Number 50. Ready once again Ryan O'Hearn. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. A couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitters count. And that's through for a hit legs churning he's headed for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That's the cat and mouse of the game right there. You find yourself count leverage. You think you're getting a heater. He throws an off speed pitch and you're still able to execute. That fires me up right there. Standing in now Cam Gallagher. No. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. One left for Kansas City. Still a two run deficit. It's five to three. Jesse Hahn enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 32, Jesse Hahn. So here's Yuan Moncada. He's off to a fast start in this one, two for two, including a home run. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect. So he finds himself down one and two now. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Gallagher corrals it and he makes the throw to first. Moncada is retired and there's one away. Digging in once again, Yosmani Grandal. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Now the one and one pitch. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batter, center fielder, Louis Robert. Ready for another chance. Luis Robert, he doubled earlier in the game. One for two to this point. Now the one and one pitch. That's popped up. Mondesi onto the grass. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the White Sox as they hang on to their 5-3 lead. All set for the start of the inning, and next it'll be the outfielder, Bubba Starling. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Once again, a 3-2. Ball hit on the ground for Anderson at short. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting, designated hitter, Michael Bronco. 
Next will be the designated hitter, Michael Franco. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with a changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. To the plate now, Whit Merrifield. Grounder down the line at third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. The relay. And he'll get in there safely. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one. But I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game. And it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Digging in to try it again, Adalberto Mondesi, who represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here's another one, two to the right side and through a base hit. Merrifield blows through the stop sign, headed for home. The tag, and he's in there. And the deficit is down to only one now. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher standpoint, Dero. You get the first two out of the inning. The next guy doubles, and then you give up a two-out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, and you want to talk about on the complete flip side, firing up an offense. You see your two boys go down, two quick outs. You mix in a gapper right there. Double finds himself on second base, and he's able to come through. Next guy's able to come through with a big two-out knock. Two out with the man at first. Hit hard on the ground to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch Four your eight. lips right there, Dan. Four Sent eight. it back right where it came from. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Jorge Soler. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the 3 1. Popped him up. Moncada is there for it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. Royals settle for just the one. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The White Sox lead it 5 to 4. Last half of the seventh here, and that brings up the versatile Nomar Mazzara. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. The 1-1. One, one. As anticipated here's a ground ball now to the right side scooped up and the throw to first is in time one gone well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch he rolled right over it digging in Danny Mendick he was a ground out victim last time up line drive to center field and he's going to make the play over toward his right and there are two away now the batter number seven shortstop Tim Anderson so the lineup flips over and digging in Tim Anderson no hits in three tries so far he struck out once And 
that's a base hit into left field. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Well, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Into the box now, Eloy Jimenez. He's working on a one for three thus far. The three two pitch. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. So a two run homer down the line and left. His second home run of the game, and it's now seven to four. Now, Jose Abreu. Liner in there for a base hit. Not every day that you see a ball come off the bat like that one did. And looking at it again on show track, we see it a lot faster than it came in. 113 miles an hour. Couldn't have hit that one much better than that. Stepping in now, Edwin Encarnacion. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Ready now with the payoff pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Two in the inning for the Sox, however, they come on this two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now a 7-4 ball game. Jay Spry will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Digging in now for Kansas City, Alex Gordon. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. The 1-1. One, one. Line toward right center. Robert is there, and he has it for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Ryan O'Hearn. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. Both teams with an even 10 hits in the ballgame. Hit back up the middle. Throw on to first to get him. Score it 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Back. Nevertheless, the there are two away now. Gallagher. Stepping up now, Cam Gallagher. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Royals go down 1-2-3. They're on the short end of a 7-4 score. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Johan Moncada. The 1-1. Now a flare out to left center. Here comes Gordon, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Boy, not the prettiest of swings, d -Row. That looked a little bit from the now Vladimir the Guerrero the book, but nonetheless, he got the job done. Yeah, a little choking poke oh, right oh. there. He flipped the bat out there and was able to find a little empty green grass. Not pretty, but he'll take it.
Into the box now, Yosmani Grandal. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Starling going back on it. A jump at the wall, and he's got it. Great play for the first out. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. Great stuff. So coming to the plate, Luis Robert. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Runners on first with one down. And a bouncing ball foul. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The right Clearly should have been content to just move up 90 feet on the hit to right, but they were thinking first to third all the way. The right fielder came up and delivered a seed to third to get his man. Not a real tough throw, but it was a good one. Now a throw over. A dive, but he's back. A runner on first with two away. And another throw over. And a dive, but he's back in. At the plate, Nomar Mazzara. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And that Out. ends the inning. So it's no runs on two base hits, no errors, and a runner left. We've played eight full. It's the White Sox seven and the Royals four. Alex Colomay takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 48, Alex. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Bubba Starling. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. Ball hit on the ground for Anderson at short, right to him. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So next to the plate for the Royals, Michael Franco. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. The one two. One half, nobody on. Takes this the other way to right. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. The batter number 50, second base hit. With into the box, Whit Merrifield. A two and one count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hit on the ground to third. There's one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. 
Wow, another game and another night to celebrate another victory. I'm just excited we've been able to be here to witness this amazing streak. There's nothing prettier in the world than good baseball, and that's just what they're giving us. 7-4 to four is the final score in tonight's game. Chicago led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Ronaldo Lopez earns his first win of the season. Alex Colomay records the save, his seventh of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching.